Hi everyone, I'm Dane Richmond, Trade and Investment Commissioner based in Shanghai, China. There's been a lot of focus on China recently, and the Australian government is aware trade disruptions have affected some goods entering China from Australia. Businesses should continue to make commercial decisions based on a thorough assessment of risk and opportunity. You need to be strategic in your approach. Irrespective of the context, relying on one market to drive your growth can leave you exposed to risks beyond your control. That's why talking to Austrade early in your export journey is critical. Depending on your sector, there are still opportunities here. Australian brands continue to carry great cachet with the Chinese consumer as clean, green, high quality products are in more demand than ever. During last year's Singles Day sales, China's annual online shopping extravaganza, Australia was the fourth most popular source country with consumers snapping up our health and wellness, cosmetic and food and beverage products with gusto. E-commerce is now firmly front and center and China's online shopping population grew by 72 million to reach 782 million over the last year, while China's live streaming viewers grew to exceed 622 million with over 388 million of these making purchases during live streaming sessions. Last year saw an expansion of e-commerce demographics, both old and young turned to e-commerce and live streaming during COVID lockdowns, a trend which is here to stay. We have seen a diversification of the e-commerce landscape with the rise of boutique sector-focused platforms along with group purchasing platforms, but it's not simply a matter of opening an online store and waiting for sales. You need to craft a strategy register and protect your intellectual property and trademarks and communicate effectively with your followers. The ability to find your people, create a community and have an ongoing conversation is vital as you seek to build your brand narrative in what is a very busy and competitive market. That's why we're sharing monthly e-commerce insights so you can keep ahead of the latest opportunities and challenges in this market. Visit us at austrade.gov.au or search Austrade China e-commerce to learn more.